And then it, it's my last question. Is there any chance, any chance, do you think, that your great life might be listening to us? Oh, I'd love to think that. And I sort of, when I was coming here to die, I sort of thought, I hope I do him justice. I thought he was, you know, one of the most underrated men in history. His genius, along with Keith Park and the bravery of the RAF pilots, saved the nation. And yet his treatment by this country was, uh, you know, a disgrace. Well, you've done pretty well to give I've, him I've that I've done a bit, haven't I? So th yeah, thank you, you for have. letting me talk about him, because there's not many people I can talk to Dad about. And th thank you, Diane, and, and, and thanks to historian Victoria Taylor and David Whiting for joining me to discuss the fascinating great life of Air Chief Marshal Sir Hugh Dowding. Goodbye. Great Lives was presented by Matthew Tadus and the producer in Bristol was Polly Weston. We just need a second green revolution. Fresh ways to combat climate change. The construction industry can contribute in saving the world. Bison to save the permafrost. Seagrass to soak up carbon. And robots to repair offshore wind turbines. It strengthens the case for wind. We can reduce the cost even further, making it even more viable. Securing our future without breaking the bank or going back to the Stone Age. Farmers are actually wanting this kind of technology. I'm Tom Heath. And I'm Dr. Thompson Edwards. Join us for 39 ways to save the planet. Next Monday to Friday lunchtime at 1.45 on Radio 4 and BBC Sounds. This is BBC Radio 4. It's just coming up to 5 o'clock, time for the PM programme with Karen Quinn. More than 53,000 new COVID cases, the highest daily figure recorded. As hospitals struggle to cope with mounting patient numbers, we hear from a doctor on the front line. And the army is to support mass testing in schools with people set to stagger their return in January. But not everyone's behind the plan. If we are going to get on top of the spread of the disease, then we have to do something. We have to take that decision now, not wait as things develop further. We'll be speaking to the Labour leader of Greenwich Council who tried to close their schools early before the Christmas break. Will there now be a government rethink on schools reopening? And with a review of the Covid tiers due tomorrow and New Year's Eve approaching, how are hospitality hoping for the best that they'll be able to welcome in revellers? We're stocked up and ready to go for what's going to be a busy, busy night and, uh, and a busy day. And the former Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly joins us live to discuss the transition from one United States president to the next. And this time you're doing dry January, you clever thing. Meat. Veg. Gemüse. Medlet. After the year we've had, is January 2021 really the time to give things up? We'll be discussing that. Let's start with the BBC News, read for us tonight by Luke Tubnam. The UK has recorded 53,135 new cases of coronavirus in the past 24 hours, up by almost 12,000 on yesterday's figure and a new all-time high. One of the government's senior scientific advisers has said urgent and decisive action is needed from ministers if a catastrophe is to be avoided. Professor Andrew Hayward, a member of the NERVTAG committee, said even Tier 4 restrictions, the toughest currently in place in England, might not be sufficient. Professor Hayward said the lesson of the crisis so far was to act early. What we've learned throughout this pandemic is that once you reach a stage where it's inevitable that tough restrictions are going to be needed, then there's absolutely nothing to be gained from waiting. All you do is introduce them at a stage where it's much harder to control, uh, and, and that means you end up with more deaths and potentially longer, more deep periods of lockdown. Frontline medics have warned the situation they face is increasingly difficult. Dr. Sonia Aracera is an accident and emergency doctor in London. She described the situation where she worked. Our hospital is very full. Um, we're working you know, all out in the NHS. And you've, you know, you've got doctors and nurses coming in from having 